So now we're moving on to the casing uh, for this clock. And we've got various parts. I think that's the back. That's uh, like a frame. And then that's a uh, front. But we also have a piece of white sticker paper, basically. They've actually given us what looks like two of them. Uh, but I think we only need one of them. So the instructions are, uh, tear the black acrylic protective film. I think that means remove the, the, the acrylic film off this black piece of plastic. This is always difficult to get started. Something about the laser cutting process just seems to fuse the edges of this paper. There we go. And if you're gentle, we may be able to get it off in one go. Maybe not. says to basically take this sticker there is two of them here so I shall very carefully separate them makes it easier so we have this sticker that we have to then put on this now I don't think it matters which way around. I think it is universal. But just to make sure, if we overlay it on this, that seems to work. Okay. That all seems okay. And for that way around. Yeah, I think it's pretty much universal. It doesn't matter which way around. What I'm doing first of all, I'm just peeling back a little bit of this backing paper and folding it. So I've just got one edge sort of exposed so that we can align it, hopefully without getting it too out of shape. That seems about right. And we'll just gently Press on that, that seems to be all right. And then we can just make our way along. And, well that was pretty close. Not quite there, but I think it's good enough. So now it says, after the pasted, using tweezers to make a hole. So basically, uh, we need to poke a hole in the four screw hole positions. You can see the the outline of the digits then. So now it says tear the transparent acrylic film placed in front of the circuit board in the following order to install the acrylic shell. So we've got our circuit board, then this, then we have our cover piece. That goes like that. I presume we've got to do the same with the underneath. 
even though it does not say so in the instructions. That's that, and then I'm guessing. So, no real instructions as to how this goes together, but we have got more than four nuts, so I'm expecting that we put these on. I'm presuming, once we get those tightened down properly, that this then just sits on top like that. Right, so I find a little nut spinner. I'm just going to just tighten these up. Should have shortened that. The mister sticking up more than anything else. But that appears to be that. I guess it's the moment of truth. We can plug it in and see if it works. So it doesn't take a lot of current there. 60, 70. Milliamps, maybe peaks at a hundred. Let's just turn the light, the video light down. So there's no physical buttons on this. What we do have is two touch pads. And so apparently we touch both keys at the same time to enter or exit the menu function list. So time, date, something, alarm maybe. I think that's the brightness. Oh no, it's the uh, LED at the back. If you want that to turn off. So time, let's see if we can set the time. Minutes. You can even set the seconds if you're wanting to. That will be an exercise in frustration. So there we go. One funky clock. with temperature gauge and no doubt other functions which I'm not as sure about and uh, we'll get trying to set that at some other time I guess. So we hope we've, you've enjoyed watching this video. Maybe you want to get this or build this yourself. Hopefully this video will have helped you in that. Uh, but until the next one We'll see you then.